right, y'all, so much stuff has happened while I was gone, but I'm back, so let's see if we can break it all down. So what's all that's been happening? We had a trailer uh, drop for Dune. Those of you who have kind of kept up with my nerdiness, and if you want to keep up with even more of it, go to youtube.com slash Adrian Extra. It's spelled in the same fashion as Adrian Expression. But yeah, those of you who kept up with my nerdiness know that I've been trying to keep my eye out on Dune, and they just released another trailer that had my heart doing backflips and front flips that just, oh my God. Cannot wait to see, and all the actors and actresses in that shit. Cannot wait to see that shit. Uh, what else? Jordan Peele just dropped this motherfucking poster. It's his movie that's coming out in, I guess, exactly a year. Uh, and it's called Nope, and I cannot think of a better title for a horror movie or whatever he's gonna be presenting us. You already know his genre. Uh, I cannot think of a better title. <laughs> I cannot think of a better title. Like, black people in a horror movie and it's titled Nope? Yeah, of course. Like, nope, I ain't doing that. <laughs> nope, I ain't going in there. <laughs> so, uh, as with all of Jordan Peele's posters, I'm sure they're going to, as soon as we finish the movie, we're going to make sense of whatever this poster is trying to serve us, but I just want to see if there are anybody who can guess, like, and then we'll come back later and see, you know, who was right, who was wrong, but I don't know, it's just a cloud, is, is this balloons or flags or some shit, it's like, what the hell, and then this, this cloud is directly over, I'm guessing that looks like a city, I'm curious to see, so it's Daniel Kaluuya, we have Kiki Palmer and Steven Yeun, I, so I just, I am so curious. I don't think there's any articles or any information uh, that kind of tells you what it's going to be about, but I am definitely gonna keep my eyes peeled for that. Hopefully we get a trailer by the end of this year. That would be really cool. We're still in the realm of movies and stuff. Michaela Cole has been cast in Black Panther 2, okay? She's been cast and the fans immediately, immediately went to theorizing. I saw this picture on social media, shout out to whoever made it, I don't know who made the shit, but I don't know, like, I don't wanna get anybody's hopes up, I don't wanna get anybody's hopes up because there's been no information released about what character she's playing, none whatsoever. But they cast her as, it was just a big announcement, and the fan, like, we immediately jumped, like, bitch, can you imagine? I don't know why I did not make that connection. Like, I don't know why it not it did not occur to me, like, oh my gosh, Levi Keller Cole play Storm. If this, if this is true, and if the MCU's taking this time to introduce mutants and Storm into this fucking universe, girl, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna what? It's like when you take Storm and you take Michaela Cole and you put them side by side, it's just like, oh, of course. Of course, and you already know she's a talented actress, so it's just like, okay, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Like I said, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, and there have been no official announcements about who she's gonna play or what, you know what I mean, what character she's gonna, what character she's gonna be, but if she, there's always a possibility! It's what we deserve, and if this is the case, after Black Panther 2, make sure you give Miss Mamas her own goddamn movie. It could be an origin movie for all I care, bitch. I just want a standalone Storm movie and a standalone Storm franchise, don't play with me. Switching over really quickly to the world of the music industry. Normani says that she's gonna release her debut album by the end of the year, so if all goes as planned, uh, she she's going to give us what we've been asking for. She says she already has the title for it, and she also plans to tour in early 2022. Now, hopefully, uh, that can happen. But with the way that these different kinds of variants, and I know I already said this. Yeah, I know this joke is probably tired, but it's just like how many, they, they like COVID really thinks that it's a part of the Disney Plus, you know, app. But the way that like it's coming out with a whole bunch of low key ass fucking variants, bitch. I didn't even know that there was a gamma variant, a lambda, a lambda variant. Like how many fucking variants of this shit? I don't know. It's just it's not looking too cute for me. So I hope that things go as planned. But uh, with the way that these girls are coming out here, going down the entire Greek alphabet, it's not serving me no type of peace or comfort. It's not. But yeah, I just brought that up because I remember saying like, okay, girl, you gave us uh, motivation. You gave us the wild side. We're going to need some more announcement. We're going to need an album announcement at the very least. So uh, she says it's coming. So we're going to see what Miss Mama's done made, okay? And RCA, I think that's the record label she signed to. RCA better not try no fucked up shit because they're very, they're known for doing some shit like that, okay? Lil Nas X released a cute little YouTube uh, interlude. 
Just like advertising for the fact that Industry Baby, his new song will be coming out uh, later on tonight. I'm sure it's gonna be coming with a music video, but I thought the prelude was funny. I thought, I mean, he's basically on trial, like putting himself on trial, playing different kind of kinds of characters with these Tyler Perry wigs on and shit had me fucking screaming. I thought it was funny, like, He's putting himself on trial for being gay, I think it was, or it's just like, yo, mama know you gay. It was just funny as fuck. Uh, these are some other pictures he released to promote Industry Baby. I am wondering how Jack Harlow is going to, you know, be integrated into this music video. Like, what is he gonna be doing? I mean, they both look kind of good, so I'm just like, hmm, uh, what's gonna be going on? I just, I, I just want to know. I just have questions. I have questions that need answers, and I don't want to come to my own conclusions, even though I'm just like, mm, okay. It's giving me very much OnlyFans kind of tease, and uh, I want to say that I object to it, and uh, I just don't have a reason to say it. <laughs> nah, but it looks good. It looks cool. It sounds really cool. It sounds, I think, like Kanye West produced the shit with somebody else. I don't know, child. Um, but I think Lil Nas X and his team are really good at promoting. They're really good at coming up with concepts. Like he's really good at uh, just putting together visuals. So I can't wait to see, uh, cause we are, we kind of ready to hear what the song sounds like. And it sounds really, it like, sounds like that shit slaps, okay? Um, but I can't wait to see what the what the concept of visual is gonna, gonna be and how Jack Harlow is going to be included in it. It's a very interesting choice to pick Jack but I think it, it definitely works. I would not have expected him to, you know, I don't know. I just, it's just like, I feel like the most unexpected collaborations, can, a lot of times turn out to be the best ones. So I'm very impatient to see what exactly this, this thing is supposed to be. So I guess I can use the last part of this video to talk about some real world uh, current events and political topics. The first one is the fact that Jeff Bezos recently made his fucking trip to space in the penis ship. That's what I'm calling it because that's exactly what the fuck it looked like, mama. That's exactly what it looks like, Miss Mamas. It looks like a whole peen blasting straight off to fuck the rest of us over. Um, <laughs> he went to space and, you know, when he came down, he did multiple things. First thing he said this shit, which I think is very interesting. He said, we have to build a road to space so that our kids and their kids can build the future. He said, when you get up there, you see it, the world. You see how tiny it is and how fragile it is. He said, we need to take all heavy industry, all polluting industry and move it into space and keep Earth as this beautiful gem of a planet that it is. So it's just, to me, it's just like, first of all, you had to take your Mr. Robotnik in the face shape head, I mean, egg head shape head ass into space in order to see that the earth is fragile. Like these, these motherfuckers running these polluting ass companies and shit talking about, oh girl, now that I've been to space, I can see how fragile uh, it is like the, the world is like, girl, you did not need to blast off in Miss Frizzle's fucking bus to see that we need to we need to stop fucking around with our planet. That's the first thing. The second thing that he says, which I think is actually kind of crazier, is that he said we need to take all heavy industry and all polluting industry and move it into space. And I already told y'all that these billionaires are not going up to space just to you know smile and look at the earth and come back down. They come up with some plans. Them doing that, they have a like they have a plan. They have a plan. They're not just going to space just to oh yeah, I'm just gonna smile and oh the earth looks so beautiful. No, bitch. They said we're gonna move all this shit to space. That's okay. So take that into consideration. Uh, but also take into consideration the fact that. You know, we are, there's already a problem, I forget the specific name of it, where it's just like, you know, if we fuck around and something happens where our satellite, you know, one crashes into the other, it, it can create a domino effect where we're just like, we're, it's already so much space junk that's fucking, fucking with us. All it takes is, you know, a couple satellites to crash into each other where it can t we create a domino effect. And there's so much, there's so many satellites out there above us that it's already creating these kinds of issues and you know, we our fucking like our livelihood depends on these satellites. Like it does, it just does. So they, it's a new frontier for them to conquer and monopolize. And that's why I want people to realize like it's just interesting that they think that okay, you know, polluting industries and all that shit. We need to move all the dirt and, and garbage and shit to space, as if that's not gonna poise more fucked up ass problems. For, for, for everyone. Obviously, I love space. I'm a nerd for space. I think I would love to explore it, all that shit. But when you take the same mentalities, the same like, 
you know, capitalist, the same exploitative mentalities and blast that shit off into space, it's not going to solve all the problems. It's just going to create new ones. So it's just, he, you go to space for five seconds and it sounds like, it, it feels like it's the first time he ever heard of space or some shit, like the way that he spoke afterwards. So that was interesting. Uh, something else that he did was give a hundred million dollars uh, as soon as, I guess, when he came back, $100 million to his friends, uh, including Van Jones. And he says that, you know, Van Jones and the rest of his friends, wherever he gave $100 million to, he, they can use that $100 million in any way that they see fit. And Van Jones said that he will use the money to further his efforts at feeding the hungry, which his own nonprofit charity works on. So, of course, that's a good thing. We could talk about how I feel about Van Jones and all that shit later. Now, I want us to think about this, okay? He gave away $100 million to multiple people, right? So, $100 million is 0.04% of his, uh, you know, net worth at $205 billion, right? So, that is not even half a percent half a percentage of his his worth right and the point of me bringing that up is to say that a hundred million dollars can change so much and but a lot of times people act like it's so hard for these billionaires to give like that but it's not even one percent of what he owns and for it to not even scratch the surface of what you have it's just like we need to be taxing these hoes we shouldn't have to wait on them to feel generous enough especially after his ass getting dragged all throughout the goddamn media or at least on social media <laughs> we shouldn't have to wait on them to do things like that don't believe anybody when they tell you that it's so hard or impossible for these billionaires to give big chunks up like that especially when the big chunks ain't really that that big it's not even a one percent or half a percentage of what you own and yeah we should tax these hoes a, a whole lot more there are so many people who are paying much more than that of their own salary to uh the government and it does not happen that way for uh these billionaires and these you know multi-billion dollar companies so i just bring that up because a hundred million dollars sounds like a lot and it is a lot uh but to billionaires like bezos it's, it's just not even one, two, three percent of what they have. And it's just like, bitch, you need to come up off that coin. Come up off that coin. <laughs> come up off that coin. Some other dumb space news is the fact that Lil Uzi Vert is apparently working on buying a planet. And the planet is Wasp-127B. I looked that shit up. The planet is 500 and something light years away, which means that if you are traveling at the speed of light, it would take 500 plus years to reach the fucking planet. Then they ain't never gonna be on the motherfucking planet. Like rich people are so insane with they fucking money. Like who the fuck is ripping this nigga off, convincing him that he he's able to fucking buy a planet that's fucking 500 light years the fuck away? Like a lot of these rich people don't just they so bored. They are so bored. Yeah, so far, he's apparently, he will apparently become the first human to ever own a fucking exoplanet or some shit. Like, I was like, what the fuck are you, what, the, what are y'all talking about? The fuck y'all talking about? Fucking gas giant. First of all, even if you could, even if you could travel fucking, you know, faster than light to get there, you can't even step on that hole because it's a gas giant? Get out my, get out my face and worry about all that shit you be doing to your fucking ex. And I guess I'll end this video on Sean King. So Sean King... Uh, recently made this Facebook post. I thought it was very interesting. He said good morning to the entire Caribbean. So apparently this entire thing is just him talking about the fact that, you know, oh my gosh, every time I make a post, people are pretending to be Americans. They're coming on here trying to just drag and eviscerate every word that I say. So we're, and there are people in other countries like Pakistan and Indonesia and Nigeria. Um, you know, there are so many accounts, 50,000 accounts over there in those countries. Uh, that were set up simply to troll me. That's what Sean King is saying. So I, I guess now what he's trying to do is make his social media posts just only show up in the Caribbean. I guess that's what he's trying to do. He says, I love the Caribbean. I know it has all of its own many struggles and faults, though I've been deeply appreciative of your support across the years. My family and I have been to Haiti many times and all over Jamaica and St. Lucia. I honestly think that the Caribbean is one of the single most important places for freedom and independence in the world. So I guess he said, after these Americans keep dragging me and it's just, uh, after they just keep pulling up receipts on my ass, I'm going to try and switch it over to the Caribbean and see how successful my career of grifting will be over there. Now, make me tell you something. Alona in the Caribbean. Do not let this. Talcum X Martin Luther Cream. Swiper no swiping built man. 
come in there and goop y'all and make y'all and trick y'all. Please do not let him. Please. I mean, Sean King really was getting dragged by social media in America, and he put on one of these hats right here, and he said, "Girl, I'm gonna find a way to steal some money. <laughs> I'm gonna go to whatever island I need to go." And he said, "I'm gonna find a way." Girl, get me off this planet. Like Jeff Bezos tried to do, girl. Get <laughs> On that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love y'all so much. And make sure that you have a good goddamn day. Baby, don't you wanna come excite me? Sink your teeth into it, don't tread lightly. I'm dripping wet, you know it's all inside me. You can resist the feeling, just come